I think it's the most important problem facing our society today. What has taken Mother Nature hundreds of millions of years to create, we have basically burned up in a hundred years. We have squandered a fixed resource, namely the fossil fuels. UW chemist David Ginger and retired chemistry professor Alvin Quirum agree that the greatest challenge of this generation is finding renewable energy sources. We get 80% of our energy from fossil fuels right now. And if you want to go to a completely renewable energy supply, that would mean replacing 80% of our primary energy over the next few decades. Ginger's goal is to harness the sun. Silicon solar cells have been around since the 50s, but they're expensive. So how can we make solar energy cheaper? One way is to use cheaper materials. Ginger's team is working on organic or plastic solar cells. That's a solar cell. It totally works. So all of the plastic solar cells that are made today are made by blending two different uh, organic semiconductors together. These are two different materials that absorb light and conduct electricity. There are infinite ways to mix the materials, so the key is to find the right combination that's both efficient and durable. So right now, making plastic solar cells is largely an art as much as it is a science. We saw the VOCs of 0.4 volts or something. A project this complex requires a highly skilled team from a variety of disciplines. It spans every discipline from chemistry to chemical engineering, material science to electrical engineering. There are colleagues in all the departments across campus that we're partnering with. Dr. Ginger explains that discoveries come with commitment to basic research, a practice established long ago in arts and sciences. Answers do not arrive overnight. We want to fix everything tomorrow. And this problem didn't crop up overnight. And this problem is not going to go away overnight. And we need to be investing in the basic science that will lead to unexpected discoveries to solve our problems in the coming decades. And we need to be training the next generation of students. And I put a drop of solution on and it spins. I feel pretty passionate about alternative energy and how important it is. And I love the idea of doing research to make cheaper solar cells, things that people could actually afford. It's interesting, it's maybe useful, and it's fun. The Ginger Group is among the best in the nation working on organic solar cells. A breakthrough could come any time, or perhaps years from now. The vision is if we can make these materials efficient enough and stable enough that they can live for, for decades on your roof, that you could transform the, the economics of uh, solar photovoltaics and have electricity generated from sunlight be cheaper than electricity that you would get from a coal-fired power plant.